guys. Welcome to another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today we're inside. We're still kind of transitioning from uh, winter fishing to summer fishing here in Minnesota. Uh, the lakes are open, but uh, no one's really getting out a whole lot yet. Bass opener isn't until the beginning of May, so might get out in the next couple of days and catch some panfish. But today we're going to be upgrading my terminal tackle box. Um, for years I've had, you know, three or four of these small little Plano boxes. Um, now I'm going to get everything put into, you know, one big box, get it organized, get all my, my hooks, my, you know, offset hooks, my weights. Um, so we're going to get all into one box, one location in the new tackle bag. We'll be doing a new video on the new tackle bag here at some point, um, coming up in the spring. So, all right, stick with us. We're going to get into it and, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, so we're going to be using the Flambeau uh, 4700 series box. This is the same size as a 3600 Plano or a 3650. So these are going to fit in my box upright. Um, this is what I'm going to use for my terminal tackle. So what I'm going to do is break this up. I'm going to have the top two rows be for my weights, and the bottom two rows are going to be for my hooks. Uh, so I did decide to super glue my dividers in. Let's get them over here. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, these things do like to pop up a little bit. And then especially with weights, your weights will, you know, slip in underneath. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of super glue in here on the bottom. And try to hold these in place just a little bit. You know, I've thought a little bit about where exactly I want to put these. So once I do this, obviously there's no going back. <laughs> a little bit on the bottom don't need much a little goes a long way put that on there so sorry about the delay in, in content here the last few weeks it's been uh, kind of busy I do work in a job that is considered essential uh, so with everything going on in our world today I've been pretty busy and uh, like I said you know in the intro here in Minnesota, it's uh, we don't have open fishing yet. Not till May 9th is our is our uh, bass and walleye northern opener. So um, right now it's just pan fish, rough fish stuff like that. So we just had ice out here. I don't know, maybe a week ago, where the lakes really started opening up. At least here in in my part of the state. So we got those in there like that. We'll do another row the same way. So really just trying to find some projects to do at home to get ready for the upcoming season. Got a little bit of super glue on my finger, I can feel it sticking. <laughs> get that on there. So one of the things I'm planning on doing this year is I'm, you know, looking at different brands of hooks, um, you know, seeing what, uh, which one I like the best. Over the years, I've bought all kinds of different stuff and uh, I guess never really stuck with one specific brand or had a, a uh, favorite brand or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some stuff out this year and see what, uh, what my favorite will be and what my go-to will be going forward. We'll run out of glue here. Drop that in there like that. Yeah, I am running out of super glue. Ah, this is not good. Two left. Well, I can go back and re super glue those later. Go ahead and set that off to the side. All right, so here's our bins. Like I said, this top two rows are going to be for hooks or uh, top two are gonna be for weights, the bottom two are gonna be for hooks. So we'll go ahead and get this filled up and uh, take a look at it.
All right, guys, so there is the hooks. I've got the uh, VMC Wacky Weedless hooks. Um, gonna play with some Wacky rigs this year, a little more than I have in the past. And then I've also got uh, some 2 uh wide gap from VMC. And then the other ones I've got are from uh, Gamatsu. So got uh, 2 aught and a 4 aught in those. And then if you guys have seen my feed recently on Instagram, um, I did uh, sign on with uh, Wu Tungsten as a pro staffer. So really excited about that. Got a shipment in just today. So we're gonna play with uh, some swim bait hooks. These are uh, eighth ounce. They've got the screw attachment on them. They're a pretty slick looking deal. So they're gonna get those put in here as well. So the nice thing about these is they have the, the weight. Uh, let's see if you can see on there. Get a little bit of reflection, but they've got the, the, the weight right on the tungsten weight. Uh, and that's on their, their drop shot weights, everything, so you can tell exactly what you're looking at. So we get these put in here as well. All right, so we got the hooks in there. We're gonna go ahead and get the some shaky heads. And these are in eighth ounce as well. I use a lot of eighth ounce stuff because I fish a lot of docks. Um, the eighth ounce is a little bit easier. It gives you enough weight to get it out, but you can also skip it up underneath docks, stuff like that. Uh, it's not too awful heavy. Get these put back in the package. So I think at some point I'm going to uh, make some stickers to go in here uh, saying what sizes they are. So I can keep track of what I got. Um, let's see. I'm going to get started on the weights here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set the weights up. We're going to start with the nail weights first. These are great for uh, fish and Senkos, either in a Nico rig, a wacky rig, kind of gets that tip down a little bit. Um, I got this in their intro pack. It was 20 bucks on their website. Pick that up any day that they're in stock. They sell it pretty quick. But um, So, yeah, a lot of these weights I got in that intro pack minus the swim bait hooks. So it's a really great deal if you're uh, in the need for some tungsten weights. Um, these ones are, let's see, 132nd, and then I got 16th ounce here. So we're going to go ahead and pop these in. Let's see. This is their finesse kit here, so it's got everything in there you need. It's all lightweight stuff. I'm really excited to try some of this stuff out come bass season coming up. Let's see if we can get them out of here. One more there. All right, so we got those. I'm going to get the 16th ounce in there. And these ones, I don't think you need a whole awful lot of weight. Once again, um, you know, they are segmented, so you can, you know, cut that off with your wire clippers if you need to, um, make them a little bit lighter or heavier than you need. But. All right, so we got that off to the side. So we're going to look at our, so these are your uh, Texas rig weights, drop shot rigs, um, or not drop shot rigs, sorry, Texas rigs. All right, and these ones are 16th ounce. So we're going to drop those in like that. I guess I should say flipping weights. These are probably the proper term for them. We got some eighth ounce. And this is kind of just getting me started for the year. I do want to pick some more stuff up as we get closer, but this is just to kind of get uh, the box going and started. Let's see, and this tungsten stuff is really nice. It's not uh, not as harmful as, as lead, obviously. Um, it's, it's heavier, smaller. Uh, and this is no chip, so I don't know if you can see that. So it says right on there, so these are quarter ounce. So we got those in there. Threw one in the wrong spot, okay. So those are those. Then we've got uh, some quarter ounce drop shot weights right there. Once again, these are no chip. They have the stamp right on the weight to let you know exactly what you're dealing with. those in there. A couple other drop shots and a lighter weight. Let's see. Let's flip those around. 
Yeah, I know. It doesn't really matter, but I'm kind of buggy about that stuff. Got to keep it in order and nice and organized. There we go. All right. We got that weight in there. So we got that. So then I also picked up their stops for working with uh, the, the flipping weights. Got those there. Get those popped in a spot. beads and right, some of those roll out over there so i have to put those those actually come in a bag so i'm going to leave those in that bag and just drop that in a spot on its own no reason to make a bigger mess than what i need all right so we got that there so those stops and the flipping beads here's the stops right here they come in a little nice little bundle get some more right there those stops all rolled away on me here. There we go. So those are going to go in this little spot there. Since I super glued those, I might as well take these out of the, the bag. One last step on Mount Reagan, trying to get stuff set up on the lake. All right, so this is our box as it stands. Like I said, I might add some stickers, uh, make it a little bit more user friendly to refill and to find what I need. Get that sticker out of there. So yeah, so there's the box. That's the start of it. And uh, like I said, we'll continue to add some stuff to this. Still have a couple of spots left for weights. And uh, you know, for hooks, this is about what I need. You know, I, I fish wacky quite a bit. And then uh, Texas rig, Nico rig, swim bait hooks, shaky head, got all that right here. So this is going to, you know, get us set up pretty good for the upcoming season. And, uh, you know, definitely a huge upgrade from the little tiny guy. And I had like three or four of these floating around. So, um, you know, kind of retire that and get uh, moved up into something a little bit bigger. All right, guys. So there's the box all set up. Of course, we're going to go ahead and slap a Tired Axe Outdoor sticker on it. These are still available on my Etsy shop. The link's in my Instagram profile. Um, but, uh, yeah, go ahead and pick one up. These are waterproof. They're great for... Going on the you know the back window of your pickup or your boat tackle box. Um, like I said, we're gonna throw one on the tackle tray here. Got them in blue, green. Also have uh, some new stickers coming up here pretty soon. Let's see if I can get this peeled. <laughs> because you guys saw my uh, post here a while back, we had some vintage lures that uh, we made into some pretty cool stickers. So we're we'll going to get this pressed on here. Make sure there's no bubbles. So yeah, like I said, you know, if you guys pick these stickers up, 100% of the proceeds goes to uh, just helping us get stuff for the channel, whether it be stuff for the boat or tackle, um, camera equipment, you know, editing stuff. Once again, I appreciate you guys following along. You can check us out here, obviously, on YouTube, on Instagram, and uh, we just appreciate you guys following along with us, and stay tuned for more videos and content coming up in the springtime once we get a little bit closer to May here. Hopefully, uh, you guys are all healthy and well, and your family's well. And uh, all right, we'll talk to you guys later.